Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn issues and challenges while designing sensor cloud infrastructure in several applications. So there are several issues like designing, engineering, reliable connection, continuous data flow, power issues, and many more uh, issues or challenges are there whenever we are trying to design a sensor cloud infrastructure, especially for healthcare and also several applications. Right now, we are going to see what all the issues uh, we come across whenever we are trying to design a sensor cloud infrastructure. First one, first one itself is the design issues. So there are several design issues while designing this particular system, okay? Like, uh, like uh, fault tolerance, okay? Sometimes there were maybe faults coming out in order to uh, transfer the data from one node to another node, okay? So like uh, we should, the data which is transferred should also be reliable, okay? So the data which is transmitted between the sensor devices to the server and from the servers to the particular applications or the end users like uh, home automation, healthcare, hospitals, and uh, many more. Suppose if you take an example of uh, healthcare only, okay? So a patient sitting in the home, all the data, uh, can, all the sensor data of the patient need to be wirelessly sent to a particular server using this particular sensor devices from the server, the hospitals or the healthcare need to access that particular data. So while designing this whole format, there might be some sort of uh, fault tolerance as well as there might be some sort of reliable continuous transfer of data issues, okay? So design issues is one of the major issues. Next comes storage issues. So as we are using lots and applications and many more sensor devices, storage issues is the most common issue in order to store the data with respect to the server, okay? So whenever any end user is trying to access the data, that particular data should be available in the storage, okay? So that the data will be fetched in perfect time. So storage issue is one of the major concerns and most common concern. So whenever we are dealing more number of sensor, obviously you need to deal with more data. Whenever there is more number of data, uh, so more, huge storage is also required. So storage issue is also considered. Next comes authorization issues. Suppose a web-based uh, user interface is there that is used for doctors, patients, helpers, caregivers, and many more, okay? so. Uh, these particular patients health related results should be inspected as well as analyzed okay only the uh, suppose that particular web interface is used by all these people patients doctors helpers and many more viewers but the patient's health related results should be only visible to the doctor or only the doctors need to have this particular access towards the patient health related uh, results so Authorization issues also one of the major thing. Next comes power or batteries issue. So suppose in this whole process, a smartphone is used as a gateway or uh, suppose a device is used as a gateway. Power or a battery is the main issue where continuous supply should be given for uh, hours and days, okay? As we keep on using internet and as all the sensors need to be in the on state and data should be continuously flowing. So power or the battery should be always uh, in the on state in order to have an uninterrupted services. Next, service level agreement violation. So that is SLA violations. So the customers who are dependent on this particular cloud providers for their applications, there may be processing, storage, analysis of sensor data. So whenever we are dealing all these things, QoS, quality of service is also need to be maintained. If at all the quality of service is not maintained, it comes under an issue like service level agreement violation. Okay. So it is quality also need to be maintained in order to 
uh, satisfy that particular violation. Next, need for efficient information dissemination. So, in sensor cloud, an efficient information uh, mechanism is needed such that the they can match the published events or sensor data to appropriate user application. So, this particular efficient information should be uh, disseminated in such a way that only that sensor data or only that particular events should be uh, visible to the only that particular appropriate users okay or that per particular appropriate user application whoever is accessing to any kind of applications that should be related to that only that particular sensor data all the wanted or unwanted sensor data it's not necessary right in order to get visible or compatible with that particular app. So, this kind of uh, information dissemination is also very much important. So, this is you also need to be addressed. Next, security security and privacy support issues. Okay. So, there are fewer standards available to ensure that the integrity of the data. That means sensor data. Okay. So, it, it might be there might be a chance of changing of the sensor data due to some uh, authorized or unauthorized uh, transaction. So, uh, customers need to, whoever the uh, the end users, whoever is using this particular data, they need to be, uh, they, 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 their net data need to be well encrypted such that there will not be any kind of tampering kind of thing. So, security and privacy support is also and one of the uh, issue to be addressed. Next comes real-time multimedia content processing and massive scaling. So, usage of large amount of multimedia data like uh, images, videos, okay, or the GUI, graphical user interface, okay, or in the uh, sensor data in the form of graphs, okay, or analysis part, everything, okay. So, large amount of multimedia data information in real-time so, it uh, handling all those things is also a, a big uh, issue or a big uh, uh, big challenge, okay? So, all these things also need to be maintained with respect to cloud. Next comes collective intelligence harvesting. The heterogeneous real-time sensor data, heterogeneous real-time sensor data means, suppose there are multiple sensors connected, all the sensors data will be fed at a time or uh, 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 the data is read at a time, okay. All the data will be set in the cloud, okay. So, this is, this we can consider it as a, like a fusion mechanism. So, this particular heterogeneous real-time sensor data enhances decision-making capability. Suppose there are four sensors. Based on the four sensors data, the all the four sensors data is combined together and it gives a new result so based on that particular new result we will be calculating the uh, is or estimating a particular uh, result okay that we call it as a fusion mechanism so collective intelligence harvesting is also one of the issue uh, to be addressed it should also be uh, maintained carefully next energy efficiency issue okay so the basic disadvantages of wireless sensor network or the cloud computing is so uh, most of the sensor node okay most of the sensor node are uh, lost due to the limited storage and processing capability of node okay so the energy efficiency of sensor nodes is lost due to the limited storage even though there is some uh, energy or the power provided to it if at all there is a limited storage or the cross cap and capacity is very very limited then also we can come across energy efficiency issues next comes bandwidth limitation so bandwidth issue is also or bandwidth limitation is also one of the big challenge it has to be handled by the sensor there might be any number of sensors or n number of sensors all the sensors net data need to be maintained with respect to 
cloud and the cloud users will be uh, increasing day by day the cloud users will be increasing rapidly according to the increase of cloud users bandwidth also need to be increased accordingly so bandwidth limitation is also one of the issue to be addressed next comes network access management so there are various number of networks in order to deal with the cloud architecture application so you need to choose the best uh, network in order to provide a continuous or uninterrupted uh, services okay next comes the pricing issues so uh, there will be several types of providers with respect to sensor cloud like in sensor service provider in short we call it as ssp or the cloud service provider or we call it as csp so both service provider need to give all the facilities or the all the services uh, and also within the less bus, uh, less budget or within the less cost okay so pricing issues also need to be addressed next comes interface standardization issues suppose all the data through virtual cloud is monitored through the web interfaces so these web interfaces currently provide the interface among the sensor cloud users okay it can be through a smartphone or a laptop or any other uh, machine or an uh, instrument so uh, interfacing standardization issues also need to be addressed so we don't know the end user uh, uses which device or which application to access the data okay so it should be ready for uh, interfacing uh, overcome the interfacing issues so this also need to be addressed next comes maintaining a uh, maintenance issue okay so in order to keep the end users loyalty obviously you need to maintain uh, the cloud service okay otherwise the service will be a failure next comes the last one resource and hardware compatibility issues so hardware compatibility as well as software compatibility both can be solved in cloud computing environment okay so how means by sharing hardware as well as software resources or services okay such that uh, we will be knowing the positives and negatives of the hardware used and software uh, used and how both can be uh, compatible or integrated together in order to uh, uh, in order to uh, get the good product or the get the uh, good output okay so sometimes the hardware and software compatibility will be uh, lost it can be due to the natural calamity or the severe weather condition okay due to the in sometimes it can be simple like an internet connectivity issues also due to that we will be losing this compatible issue so uh, in order to have an good compatibility between hardware and software we need to uh, see that uh, these issues won't work. but as they are natural calamity and severe weather conditions we can't avoid but still we need to provide some sort of uh, uh, protection or some sort of things in order to uh, address these issues so these are the uh, most addressed issues or uh, need to be concentrated with respect to or while designing the sensor cloud infrastructure in order to have several or in order to use several applications. Mm -hmm.